first entrepreneur, Patrick, is an explorer and a firm believer in the richness of the Nigerian land. Traveling down from Benue, he is here to showcase his discovery and mine the opportunity of the den. My name is Patrick Odiegu, MD, CEO of Polygard Investment Nigeria Limited. For over 50 years of oil and gas exploration, there is no one single barite mine that is developed to supply the oil and gas sector. And in that regard, over 100 to $300 million are spent annually importing a product that we have in more than eight states of this beloved country. Our company has mining leads. Our exploration carried out has revealed three critical products, namely high-grade barite, lead, and zinc. Our exploration that has carried out has revealed over 600,000 metric ton of combined lead zinc barite to a, cumul to a cumulative uh, conservative value of over 15 billion naira. It's on this regard that we invite your participation. And the offer to you is 10% equity for uh, 500 million contribution. It is no longer acceptable for a great country like Nigeria that is so mineralized to continue to gift our assets freely to other nations. Thank you very much. Meet Patrick Odiegu, CEO of Polygard Investment Nigeria Limited, here seeking an investment of 500 million naira in exchange for a 10% stake in his mining and exploration company. And on display are barite, zinc, and lead samples from his reserves. Real estate mogul Paul Owanibe kickstarts the drilling process. Just to understand, you own a mine, yes? and you've got a 25-year mining lease. Have you made any money at all? From this side, we have not. And the reason being, you see, mining company is not like um, every other asset. Mining company has a developmental stage. Exploration stage, you must do your exploration. If you can't confirm your numbers, forget it. What is the breakdown of lead, uh, barite, and... Um... The lead and zinc combined is 240,000 metric ton. The barite is 360,000 metric ton. What's the average um, global price for those commodities today? Um, for barite, you are looking at um, 40 to 45,000 naira metric ton. Per metric, per metric ton. ton. If you exported the barite, what's the global market price for barite currently? You know, barite comes in various grades. Grades. Our grade is before 4.2 and okay. above. That price internationally is between $250 to $300. So what are the logistics costs? If you but are just $50. Just $50 per, per ton. ton. Yes. So why don't you export it rather we will than... export. Okay. Is the issue. Look, it's like our leg is chained. Our financial sector, I'm sorry to say, are not coming on the plate in mining. They are still not understanding that Nigeria is highly mineralized. What's your investment? About 350 million naira has already been invested in. Verifiable. Industry. Verifiable, yes. Was it from loans? No. No, it's, it's um, direct everything. equity. Okay. It's it, direct equity. My wife, if you mention mining to my wife, in fact, she will walk you out of the house. <laughs> 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 but actually, the truth is, if you have one in a mining site, you should be singing hallelujah every day. To have all three coming out from the same mine. It's it's incredible blessing. There is no blessing bigger than this. No. Well, you've valued the company at 5 billion naira today. I said, I mean, they, if somebody give me the amount I've valued it and say, give me the license, I will not do that. I won't do that. The passionate entrepreneur places a high value on his reserves and explains the grounds for his high valuation. But investment supremo, Bolaji Balogun, wants to mine for answers around the logistics of the business. Where is your mine located? It's located in Benue State. Okay. So explain the logistics to me. How do you get um, the barites from there, for example, to Port Harcourt? And how do you ensure that, you know, if you loaded 30,000, 30,000 is what gets to Port Harcourt? Very good question. What I've done, if I can leverage on the past, the first trip that we went, the vehicle was going in front, I was driving behind. 
following it all the way to Patako. Yeah, you can't do that for that a is large not sustainable. train of trucks. That is not sustainable. Mm. And I'm happy that Nexim Bank relationship with Sealink, they are coming up with logistic solution to be able to do bulk mining. So that is going to address that very, very quickly. In fact, Sealink is even going to be our off-taker. I'm happy to say that too. Because okay, so they would be the one purchasing directly from you. Exactly. And therefore, you, re you de-risk yourself from... Beautiful. They end. will take from site and deliver to the customer anywhere in the world. What's your percentage ownership? We have, we have four directors. And what, what do you own? 45%. Okay. And the others own what? Next to me, 25%. And two others, 15-15. Patrick is doing a fine job of digging out the right answers to keep the lions intrigued. However, his bold declaration of a potential partnership with Sealink has left Dan and Garim doubtful. Patrick, um, there are some unknown variables at this time because you said your off-taker was C Sealink. Sealink, yes. Sealing. When are these things coming into force? Okay. And where can we verify it? Let me put it this way. If we have product now that we want to take to market, can we take it to market? Yes, we can. It's going to be more difficult. You're going to be driving behind the truck? Mm -mm. No. Oh, no. Not. That's why I'm asking Next, about your Nexium off-takers. Nexium Bank relationship with selling is a private sector, nothing to do with government at all. In fact, what ceiling is going to do for Nigeria? No, it, no Pat, let's not theorize yeah, now. It's and we need to narrow down, narrow yeah. down. Is it in place as I speak they with have, you? Yes or no? It is in place to the extent that the Navy yes has done Yes or no? It. The vessels are not yet in the country. So it is not in place. What is the time frame for it to be in place? Less than two months. You said that ceiling in, in two months time, See, the vessels will be here and Sealink can be your off-taker. Yes, and, yes. And one can, of the off-taker. And one of the off-takers. And they can pay you at source. So yes. you don't even have to worry with the logistics. Yes? Absolutely. And I assume that they will buy enough to cover the investment that you need. Bulk buy, yes. Okay. So why don't you just wait two months? Why are you here and keep all your equity? Just finance it through the trade. We want one of the lion to come into the company. Because when you have a certain quality, a certain personality in your business, there are those that I will knock as if my hand is going to break before somebody will say, who is that? But if one of the lions shows up, the door is open. That one, I don't know how much money you can put on it. So we want a carry so Patrick, to, to further development of so the Patrick, site. So um, Patrick, unfortunately, that lion is not going to be me. Um, your valuation is too high. The amount of money you need is too high. Um, the rewards can be many, can be plenty, but it's still a risk. And for those reasons, I'm out. Thank you very much. Patrick, if I may follow up on that, you've been at this since 2007, and um, you are just at the at the verge of crystallizing what you've all you, you've worked for, and also some of us, I in particular, have experience with government, and I know that I cannot fight city hall, I can't fight government. So because of these unknowns, unknown variables. I'm afraid I'll not be proceeding with this investment, so I'm out. Thank you very much. Patrick. Ma'am. Um, for me, there's too much hanging around ceiling. I also agree with them that you have just two months to go. My advice, wait out the two months. Just patiently wait it out. Because too much is hinging around ceiling, I'm afraid I will not be investing, so I'm out. Thank you very much. Uh, you know that this man is a minor. Yes. Uh, what I'm going to do yes. is that if Bolaji would invest, I would really love to go in on this, but not for this sort of equity. So the structure may not be palatable to you. It would probably be a little over 50%. It would need a structure like that. But my, my other concern is that 500 million naira isn't going to get us um, to make in, to make, in make this, these sort this of mines bankable. Yeah. Um, this is going to require a much larger investment, and only for that reason, um, I cannot invest and I'm out. But I'm going to make you a commitment, um, and that is that you know, 
if Kiaria agrees, we're prepared to work with you right. um, to help you advance this and make this bankable. That is um, very, very sweet music to my ear. Just to add to what he had said, yes. my offer is contingent upon Bolaji coming in, and since he has not, I cannot invest. I am out. Thank you very much. Good luck. Good, Good, luck. Luck. Good, luck. Good luck. Thank you. Good Thank luck. you. God bless you all. A failed expedition for Patrick, as he is unable to extract the investment he needs to further his course for his company. He, however, leaves shoulders high as Bolaji Balugu and Kiari Buka are prepared to guide his hand through the quarry. Lion's Den is proudly sponsored by Echobank and Chapel Hill Denim and supported by Bank of Industry and Development Bank of Nigeria with the Lagos State Internal Revenue Service as strategic partner. Music